Hello everybody and welcome to Lucky by Nature. I am B. Steven and thank you for hanging out with me today. Please show your amazing support by smashing the like button and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe so you can get your daily dose of ARC. Today I have some more pro tips for you. So let's get right into it. So the first tip is what to do when your dino is stuck. And that's a good question. So as you can see, this guy fell through and now he is stuck. So what do you do? Well, um, I learned this trick when I used to play PvE because that was uh, pretty common. Um, usually what would happen is people would stop playing the game and so the dinos would go up uh, to get claimed. And so a lot of us would go and claim the dinos, uh, but they were inside a stone structure, which would take longer to decay than they would take for the, the dinos to be able to be claimed. While some people would just sit there and wait until they decayed, other people would not, like us, we would not wait just because, you know, there are trolls out there and sometimes they would find the dinos just sitting there because of course the building was decayed and so other people would come in and they would build around your dinos and they would not release them because they wanted them and so then they would you know they would pretty much hold them ransom and uh or hold them for ransom so they would say give us this and, and uh, we'll let you take these uh, other ones but uh, that was not a big deal for us uh, because I learned pretty quick uh, how to get these guys out. And as you can see, I got uh, the Carno and uh, now the Golem is trying to get to the Carno because I set it to follow it. So now the best thing to do is just get out of render range because as you can see, uh, everything's slowly start starting to de-render. So it's starting to disappear. Uh, but it doesn't work just like instant. With flyers, it's a little bit different. Um, so if that was a flyer, I would just go straight up or kind of like a 45 degree angle and keep on going in and out of render range. And all of a sudden, they would just start coming out. Also, you can do it with, uh, I mean, I guess you could do it with this guy too. Uh, you can do it with uh, Gigas and Rexes. Uh, whenever you claim something, um, you would just try to get them out of, uh, you know, fr from behind the behemoth doors and things like that. But uh, this always worked. So basically, um, I kind of learned that it would be just better to just get the heck out of Dodge because... I mean, we can sit here for a good 30 minutes to an hour, just going back and forth, back and forth until it happens. But uh, I found out that eventually it does happen. So let's just get the heck out of here and come back a little later. All right, so now we're heading back to see if uh, our dino is out, our rock golem. And like I said, I think I said it before, this works pretty much anywhere. If I didn't say it, I just did. Oh, here we go. Look, he's out. That is what you want. And that's what, always what happens. Uh, so everything is good to go. I couldn't tell you how many times uh, people would get our stuff uh, <laughs> jailed, pretty much. They would build um, some dino gates around our, our stuff. And it was always pretty easy to get them out. But there you have it. Uh, so for those of you that uh, were wondering how to do this, uh, it, it's pretty much that easy. Uh, sometimes it doesn't quite work uh, the first time. So just like I said, just go about your business and eventually you'll find your dino right next to the other one. So let's move on to the next tip. Tip number two is how to clear engrams after using creative mode. And obviously this one is quite recent, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, I did look into it a little bit and uh, I did notice that all your engrams do appear, as you can see, every single one. And even though uh, 
GCM is off, which uh, by the way that's uh, short for creative mode. You type in GCM and boom. But as you can see, um, all my engrams are lit up uh, as if I already got them. But uh, here, let me show you. GCM. Hey, I'm trying to work over here. Jeez, these guys always goofing around. Anyways, uh, as you can see, GCM is on. So we're in creative mode. So now let's go ahead and build or get uh, some beds here. So let me just uh, type that in. And this should do. That should give us three. But really all we need is two. And I'm sure some of you kind of figured what I'm going to do here. <laughs> in order to clear them out, of course, you want to uh, turn GCM off. There we go. So now we're normal, but we don't want those engrams on there. So let's go ahead and fast travel to the next bed. Just like that. And I understand, you know, that sometimes in single player, you guys are, you know, playing and then doing things. I know that in our, uh, oh, as you can see, sorry. <laughs> All your engrams are back to normal. And as I was saying, uh, this became an issue for us on our servers because we would go in there and we would build arenas. And then we wanted to take off the engrams, but we couldn't. So that's when I had to uh, figure this out. But there you go. That's easy enough. So let's move on to the next tip. Tip number three is get your stamina back when swimming. And this one seems to be a quite common, actually, uh, problem. When you're out in the water, um, usually after one of your dinos gets killed, whatever you're riding, if you're riding, like, let's say, a dolphin, because they're pretty easy to lose and you survive but you're trying to get back to land and you are too far and your stamina uh, was draining and you didn't realize it as we all know that does have oh sorry that does happen let me take a look at this guy why is he wow 140 female too so whoa there's another one there what the heck are they doing over here 145 female. These are high level. Oh crap. <laughs> well, uh, as you can see, my stamina is pretty low. <laughs> and this could be a uh, mean disaster right here because, and this is uh, typical. So I don't even know why I did that. Sorry, sorry. I was trying to put the other thing away and I pulled that one instead. But uh, so what we're going to do is there's no way I can make, make it back to land. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight down here. And that's going to uh, kind of confuse the, the Megalodon. And then we're going to use a little chair and sit down for a couple of secs. And as you can see, it goes up rather fast. This is what we want. So yes, my peeps, I do carry a chair with me pretty much all the time that I'm goofing around. If I go into the water, I take one. If I'm out and about uh, trying to tame something, one is always with me. Because uh, if I have to sit down, uh, as we all know, uh, well, maybe not, but uh, many of you know, that uh, your food and water go down really, really slow in comparison when you are sitting on a chair. Uh, but if you if you guys want, I can show you uh, all about that on another uh, tip or pro tips uh, episode. So that's pretty much it for the tips for today. So um, if you have any questions, as uh, some of you have asked on some of the videos, don't hesitate to uh, put it on the comment section and I'll look into it if I don't know it. If I do, I'll go ahead and put it on the next uh, episode. But that's it for me, guys. So until next time, keep surviving. My work saved the human race.